So what you're seeing right now is our B2B reference store that we call Sapphire. The site has everything our B2C site has, but with more B2B capabilities built in. We've got a nuts and bolts type of catalog over here because a lot of our B2B customers sell millions of SKUs of small parts. So that's something a little similar to that that they can reference when building their own sites. So we've got fasteners and lighting over here and bolts, nuts, and screws available to us. Let's go ahead and shop in the bolts category. Maybe swirl down and check out this machinery eye bolts here. We can see that this bolt costs $14.25, so let's remember that for later. You can come in here and add multiple items to your cart at a time. And with our B2B store, we've made it so that you cannot shop as a guest user. You must sign in in order to shop. And that's because many of our B2B clients like to have contracts with their end users so that they can offer them customer-specific pricing and show them a customer-specific catalog. So luckily, I do have a B2B login that we can use to shop around on the site. And the first thing we'll notice is that the lighting category is gone. And so is the nuts subcategory. And that's because this buyer is assigned to a contract which only allows them to shop in these specific categories. So we'll go back over to the bolts. We'll go ahead and check out that machinery eye bolt again. And we'll see that it now costs $12.77 instead of the $14.25 we saw before. So we've added in customer specific pricing into our contract here as well. And you'll notice that now that we're logged in, we're actually able to add items to our cart over here. And we can add it to cart or we can decide to add it to a requisition list. And a requisition list is like a list of frequently bought items that a B2B buyer can create and decide if they want to share with other members of their team as well. So they can then take a look at the orders that they have here, add those products, and push it out to cart whenever they're ready. So they won't have to create these cards every week or every month or whatever they need. They'll just have it saved and ready to go. So now that we've seen the magic on the site, let's take a quick look at how we built these rules in our business tooling. So coming up to our tab over here, this is Management Center. This is where our customers come in to manage their sites. It's our business user tooling. So we'll go over to our navigation bar menu over here. We'll go to Manage Accounts and go into Catalog Filters and Pricing. We'll make sure we're working with the right store, which is our Sapphire store. You can have as many stores as you want on one single instance of commerce. We'll go over to our Catalog Filters section here where we created a catalog filter for that demo org one. This is the way we show customers certain catalogs here, and it's by applying a filter. So what we have here is our entire uh, extended sites, entire catalog. So we can see apparel, electronics, grocery, hardware, all of the above. What we can do now is right click and decide if we want to include or exclude certain items. So maybe we want to exclude everything. From there, we can right click to see which items we do want to include inside of our catalog filter. So we'll go to hardware and let's keep hardware lighting excluded, but let's right click to include fasteners. From there, we can pick and choose what we want to include and exclude from there as well. So that is how we easily create a catalog filter. We can also come in here and create price rules. So we created a price rule for the demo org one. And what we did here is build a journey where if a customer comes to the bolts or screws category, then we're gonna get the price from the price list here. We're then going to calculate the price. So we're gonna mark down the price by 15% and then apply a rounding pattern so that it's to the nearest 0.77 cents to make it all look nice throughout. So that is how we create a catalog filter and a price rule. From there, we would assign these filters and rules to a customer's contract, which can also be managed in our tooling. And then we can ensure that they have that specific tailored buying experience.